now let us discuss assumptions in pure betting theory uh, the first assumption is as as i explained earlier in assumptions in strength of material material is homogeneous and isotropic homogeneous means at any point material property is same in one direction and isotropic means at one point property is same in all direction and the second assumption is according to willis bernoulli uh, there should be no wrapping or distortion in the shape of uh, cross section of the beam and third is uh, strain distribution is linear with zero at neutral plane and uh, linear changing in the cross section uh, this linear variation in strain distribution linear variation is valid up to the failure and uh, as shown in this diagram for a vertical beam the strain distribution is linear and the fourth assumption is beam is stressed within a elastic limit that is hooke's law is valid here and within a, within elastic limit beam is stressed allowed to stress and the fifth assumption is each layer in the beam is free to move without friction and there is no shear force acting in the beam acting in the cross section of the beam and uh, uh, six is material property is not changing from tension to compression that is young's modulation tension is equal to young's modulation compression and the last one is radius of curvature r is uh, far far greater than width or depth of the width or depth of the beam as shown in this diagram the el elastic curve uh, r is here radius of curvature which is far greater than uh, depth or width of the uh, beam uh, on which bending moment is acting and also due to this slope and deflection are very small so here we can use a superposition principle 